plaintiff, Gigi Taylor, says when she met the defendant, she thought they would be good friends until she realized the defendant was a liar. Gigi claims she gave the defendant her credit card information to purchase an airline ticket for her. But instead, he used her credit card to make multiple unauthorized charges. So she's suing. Defendant Joseph Brown says Gigi wants to be the center of attention. And she always tries to act like she's Beyonce and everyone else is Kelly and Michelle. Joseph insists he had permission to use Gigi's credit card and therefore he doesn't owe her for anything. Uh, you want to give me some background? Yes, Your Honor. I met Joseph earlier this year um, through mutual friends. At first, I thought we were going to become great friends. We had a lot in common. He was well-educated, well-traveled, good job. He was a flight attendant. Quickly, I found out, though, he was just seeking attention. He became very clingy. I also found out that he was a habitual liar. He was hitting on all my friends, inboxing them, harassing them on Facebook. Um, obviously, found out that he was doing a lot of lying, lying about his education, lying about his age. Thought he was 25. How old did he tell you he was? 25. And How old are you? 43. Um, Cougarin, you are out there Cougarin, baby. <laughs> That's right, had you a young thing. Uh, no, you we were doing just, it, huh? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no honestly. You had your red Corvette? <laughs> With your young boy on the side, I tried to get me a red Corvette the other day. Called my wife. Yeah. I said, you know, I'm going through a midlife crisis. Can I get me a red Corvette? You can get the vet, but you better not get the young girl. <laughs> <laughs> that, go, that usually goes with it. <laughs> then when I went to the bank, no funds available. <laughs> Co signer. Yeah, you can get you a vet, but I don't know how you go pay for it. <laughs> Young man, you thought you were in heaven. <laughs> Not at all. Give me some background. Miss Gigi Taylor has to be Beyonce and everybody else has to be Kelly and Michelle. She has to be the center of attention at all times. Look at her flinging her hair. <laughs> she, <laughs> she has to be, and don't get me wrong, she's a very gorgeous woman, but she has to be the center of attention at all times. I remember one time we were on a layover in Philly and she was going back and forth with the bartender. Y'all were laying up in Philly. A layover. <laughs> a layover. Laying over. Okay, that's in the plane. Okay, <laughs> all right. Go ahead. A layover in Philly, and she was going back and forth with the bartender because he was going to serve her some bottom shelf tequila to go in her margarita. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. But she just has to be the top at all times. And overall, she's just very dramatic. Well, she like everything top shelf. You should have felt good about things. Mm. How did you feel about the relationship? It wasn't a relationship. We were just, we were barely even friends. We just oh, had a lot of- Oh, you didn't date? No, we didn't. <laughs> you didn't uh, date? No, uh, no, Your Honor, he was trying to date my nephew. Um, he uh, doesn't like what I have. Oh, I got oh. it all wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thought you were a cougar. <laughs> no, no, Your Honor. No. Oh, I thought Not you had your young 25-year-old no. thing. But let's be clear, no, let's be clear. He, she doesn't no, like what I have either, no, so. Correct, you're right. <laughs> no, he was my good Judy. He was my good girlfriend. Oh, okay. that's cute. <laughs> Did you hit on her nephew? Absolutely not. Nothing wrong with her nephew. You did. You have a Absolutely problem with it? Absolutely not. Her oh, nephew okay. hit on me numerous times while he has a boyfriend. Oh, okay. lies. Did she hit He's on your liar. niece uh, or anything? <laughs> no, I'm in no. a committed relationship. You didn't no. hit on his niece? All right. Go ahead. The, the story about the airport, uh, this young man, he supposedly has such a great job. He's a flight attendant, but he couldn't even afford his own meal. He sat and watched us eat. He couldn't even pay for his own food. <laughs> he had to okay. watch you eat. You can't even <laughs> afford to buy your own things. I don't know why he thought he could steal from me. Your Honor, I own a bonding company and I'm a bounty hunter. Why on earth would you think you could steal from me and I wouldn't investigate my own account? Really? Did you know she was a bounty hunter? I did. I knew she was a bail bonds person. Well, I, I hope you didn't steal like... from it. Let me hear <laughs> Ma'am, tell me how he stole from you. I hope it's not true. You got better sense than that. N no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Your Honor, I contacted Joseph um, regarding, he had always told me that he had these buddy passes that he'd be willing to sell. And I had a trip coming up going to New York and I asked him As about- As an airline attendant. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So I wanted to buy a buddy pass from him. He stated I would have to pay for the taxes on the ticket, which I'm used to doing. I have plenty of friends who are flight attendants. I'm used to doing that. Mm -hmm. No problem. 
I gave him my information via text and I clearly stated in the text, delete my information after you book the passes. No problem. He said he would do that. Obviously he did not. Honestly, we actually took the same flight together while I headed to New York. He went to Atlanta. That's when we had that layover that he is speaking of when he couldn't even afford his own meal. But um, I found out maybe a month and a half later after I got a text message from Chase Bank about my balance, I immediately bounty hunter kicked in and I started investigating. I saw the first things on there was pizza charges, about $1,400 worth of delivery pizza. Really, girl, you can't afford your own food? It was ridiculous. I no. went to all of the Worse restaurants. Than that, all pizza, if that's true. Well, pizza, gift cards. He tried to Western Union himself money while he was in Atlanta, come to find out, under a fake name. And it was just pathetic. I spent a week and a half investigating these charges. I went to every Pizza Hut, every Papa John's, and to show you how smart of a criminal is, he ordered all of it in his real name, delivered it yes, to his address with his real phone number. How much did this come to? You're suing him for nearly 3000 I have a breakdown, Your Honor, of all the charges and my credit card statement. He charged things in Kansas. He charged things in Missouri. Um, there's over $1,000 worth of charges, and mostly food. I don't know, how hungry can you be? <laughs> <laughs> did you go to jail for some pizza, sir. Did you prosecute it? Yes, sir, I did. And I hope that pizza was good, because you're going to be eating bologna sandwiches for a long time. Let me hear from you. Your Honor, when I used her card, I used it because she's the one that gave me the permission to use her card. When we were in Philly on that layover, she told me, I was telling her about my financial situation while I couldn't pay for you my food. You were watching them eat. Abs right, <laughs> watching them eat. Mm -hmm. uh, so and she I was said, letting hey, go her buy know, you some pizza, honey. Uh, I was letting her know about my financial, you know, place at the time. And I thought her being a good friend, obviously she wasn't. I ain't, I ain't that good. She, she told me that, you know, well, you have my card information, you can use it. And so... Lies. That's what I did. Lies. Your Honor, that's an absolute lie. Why would I tell you you could use it if I tell you in the text message, as soon as you book the flight, delete my information? That was that night. That was Friday Who has night. this text message? Let's see it. Friday night, she told me to delete the text messages. Saturday, the next day, is the day that we flew out, and that's when we had the layover in Philly. It was the very next day. Hey, Gigi, this is Joseph. He admits, Your Honor, in the text message that he used my card for personal gain. And not only that, I'm about to bust your lies right down. I voice recorded him, Your Honor, Whoa. our conversation. Listen when I that. called him after I investigated the lies, I called him and taped the entire conversation because that's what I do. I investigate lies for a living. Come on, girl. <laughs> Let's hear what you have. You have that? Can you, yes. can you play it? I want to hear what you got to say because this is beyond ridiculous. And you do know, I mean, I don't know if you know, but I'm very insulted at this point by the lies because I do this for a living. I'm a fraud investigator. So your lies are just insulting. I know about your fake name. I know about you trying to get money from Western Union, Union Jesse. I know about the $250 you tried to get in the letter. I know about the $600 you tried to get. I know about the $99 you tried to get. I know about the gift cards. I've talked to all the people from the restaurants and the management team. So stop lying. It's pissing me off. I used your card for personal thing. Everything that was on your account is true. I, I did it. I know it was right. I know I had no right to use your card. I should have deleted it. After you sent me your information, you trusted me to put the budget pass for you and delete it. And I did not do that. And Gigi, uh, you honest to God, or I cannot explain how deeply sorry that I am for the betrayal that I have caused you. And I've had 
had to stop my company business and not do bonds and make money because I'm trying to retract the money that I've lost. I am serious. You went from state to state. You tried in Georgia. You me off in three cities in Missouri. You me off in three cities in Kansas. And all of that will catch up with you. That is considered felony, fraud, and identity theft. You may not have been a criminal before, but you're a criminal now. You know, you're How do you explain that, sir? You told me she gave you permission. How do you explain what I just heard? At this point, Your Honor, I was just fed up. She was making Facebook posts about me, and she claims to be this professional. No, but professional. you admitted she didn't give you permission. She gave me permission when we were no, in Philly. No, I just heard you saying she didn't. No, I'm not going to entertain this anymore. I heard what you said on that. I don't even have to go back to this text message that I read that she handed me. I guess your wages are of course, for you having to leave your business and track down all of these charges city to city. Why did you have to go city to city like that? Because I need, we live in two different states. And of course, I had to file charges in each municipal court that he made these charges in. So I've, I do have that evidence wow. where I went, I physically went to each police station. Let's see it. And filed six different police reports. Ooh, you going to jail. <laughs> And I was also told, Your Honor, by the different police stations that they will be compiling the cases together to make it felony charges. So he'll have one in Kansas, one in Missouri. This is what I would do if I were you. I would pay her this money, then I would offer to make a civil settlement with her, to pay her civilly for whatever you can work out with her, 10,000, whatever it takes to keep your behind out of jail for her to drop the charges. And that'd probably be better to pay her that way than going to jail. Because there's a lot of, ain't no nephews there, there's a lot of uncles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just before the plaintiff, good luck to you, boy. <laughs> I'm just glad justice was served. Um, I don't hate him. Um, I'm fine, but he'll know next time. At this point, I mean, it is what it is. She won her case. She got her money back. It is what it is. I mean, she's a great person. She's beautiful. I hope she can accept my apology. That's it. I accept it, but you'll be enjoying those bologna sandwiches in jail. <laughs> <laughs>